What's good people, welcome to this video. This is my ring foil session number 12. I am still on my uh, Gong Hype Inflatable 5.3 board with 110 liters and my uh, Gong Pulse 6 square meter ring. And I'm pretty, yeah, still pretty stoked about the setup. Um, for this session, I tried to go on a smaller front ring, so I chose the Wise M. Um, all the last sessions I had the Wise XXL. And yeah, because uh, one of my last sessions, um, it's almost uh, some, yeah, I don't know, three weeks ago or something, a friend of me passed me on the um, Axis 1150 and he was so much faster than me, so than me on the Wise XXL, that I decided that I have to uh, go for a faster foil for some time. Um, I then later on had to figure out, as you can see right now, it takes a lot of more wind to get the small foil going. Uh, it's kind of obvious, uh, but still, yeah, it didn't work out that well, but I still um, yeah, got it to going. And the first impression on the smaller foil definitely was, so the Wise M is not that small even, but uh, still compared to the Wise XXL, it's yeah smaller. Um, I needed to be way, way, way faster. And as you can see here, the pumping takes like ages and really it's uh, kind of exhausting because you pull the wing, you pump the board, pump, 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 and then eventually 10 seconds later when the board is already uh, on, on planing for a while you get up on the foil um, on the Wise XXL that's 10 times easier you just pump like two times and you're out of the water um, yeah but therefore it goes way faster um, I already mentioned it uh, later on in the session I changed the foil to the Wise XXL um, then you can see how much faster it comes out of the water when pumping um, but therefore how much slower it is and uh, that's one nice thing about like the Wise M. It's not a fast foil, but compared to the Wise XXL, it's way faster. And yeah, that's fun because yeah, you're just gliding along, you're passing all the boats, and uh, that's kind of a really nice thing. And then it's way more pitchy and uh, rotation instable, so you can yeah go for smaller circles and have more like a carving feeling. Um, yeah, the Wise XXL likes to stay in its place. I mean, it's yeah obvious too. It's bigger, so it doesn't like to move that much. Um, but therefore, it has other benefits. Like, in, for example, this one right here, I would have easily wrote that out on the Wise XXL, as it glides a bit further, and then you can uh, fake the maneuvers by just pumping it out of there. So you stay up on the foil, and that's not really possible on the Wise M. Um, yeah, which makes it more more agile, I would just say. Yeah, and then uh, one one major improvement for my session number 12, or maybe I figured it out like one about session number 10, um, was the wing pumping technique. I don't know who said it the first, I um, definitely got it from some YouTube video. Um, I think it's Damien Leroy, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, it was to don't just uh, push and pull the wing away from you and towards you, but more like uh, get it in a circle movement within pushing and pulling. Um, and that keeps way more, I don't know if I can call it tension, but it feels like tension in the wing. Um, and it stays controlled and generates much more power than just like uh, forward and backward motion. So the circle movement makes a yeah way better job with that. And then, um, overall, my positioning definitely improved. Um, I can keep the wing lower and it feels like the wing is really besides me instead of on top of me. Um, which is also a thing that you have to be with the gong pulled 6 square meter, you have to be high up on the foil uh, to keep it kind of in a 90 degree angle to the water because else the tip is gonna be in the water pretty fast. Yeah, um, with the tags as you can see right there, um, I didn't manage to write them out on the Wise M. On the XXL it's uh, a bit easier. Right there I changed to the Wise XXL so there wasn't that much of wind as you already saw in the forecast and uh, my skills are definitely lacking uh, too much to keep on going like that. Um, I just showed videos or like 90% of my GoPro footage of when I was able to go, um, which was not the case for most of the time on the Wise M. There were like maybe I tried uh, 30 minutes and maybe five to 10 of them were on the foil and the rest of the time was uh, mostly uh, kneeing or standing on the board, but not on the foil. And here you can see like the circular um, ring pumping motion I mentioned. Um, yeah, I think it's possible to see it quite good on that footage. Um, 
makes it way way more efficient at the least it feels like this i really like this uh, this footage um, i was lucky that my dad was there and took some iphone footage um, it's kind of funny because you always think i'm gonna <laughs> crash with some boats um, <laughs> this, this is like a really really crowded spot um, normally when you say like crowded spot it's because of hundreds of kaidas or windsurfers or whatever um, yeah here it's just sailing boats which is kind of cool because uh, they move in one direction if they uh, tag or drive or i don't know how to call it on a sailing boat i think it's the same anyway if they change direction it's pretty slow and you can um, quite easily predict where they will go next um, so it's easy to maneuver around them um, yeah i think on this one right here you can already see um, on the rise xxl again it's so much slower um, unfortunately there isn't a video of me going on the rise m from the outside Ooh, here you can see the tag um, so i would say on the rise xxl i feel quite comfortable with the tags uh, with my right foot forward right now um, which is my dominant foot so i'm goofy stance um, and they work like maybe a bit more than 50 percent of the time um, which is also due to the fact that on the rise xxl um, yeah, you can basically just, if you're able to pump, you can just uh, pump out of the maneuver and kind of fake it, makes it easier. Um, there the jibe gets uh, yeah better and better, works most of the time. This one didn't quite work, but yeah, still, I'm getting used to it more and more. Um, one pretty bad thing which I really have to change is I um, still didn't even try a single tag or jibe with my non-dominant foot in the front, so my left foot with a regular stance, and I also feel that I'm way weaker um, pumping or getting out of the water left foot forward, um, so I really have to change that. I don't like it to have such a chocolate side kind of riding style, makes it kind of boring, and also sports scientifically it's yeah, kind of stupid to only do a movement in one direction so I really have to give that a go and uh, try it with my left foot forward it was the same when when kite foiling and in the end it's just uh, better to be able to do the movements to both sides yeah this I guess is a pretty good example of uh, doing a jibe with the XXL it's so much easier as it glides further you just uh, pump a couple of times and then you're ongoing um, with the Rise M no chance Still the Wise M has more lift than many other uh, foils like Veloce or whatever. Um, but yeah, if you're used to the Wise XXL it's easier. Right there, um, I started like on my session number maybe 9 or 10 um, to go for the tags from toe side, also just a goofy stance. Um, still pretty pretty hard, I managed to ride out some of them but not really clean. But it's getting better um, and I really like the feeling of it because um, yeah, it's kind of throwing the, the wing in the other direction um, and then catching it again in the right time and it's really nice feeling if you make it. Um, so yeah, that keeps or well, kept me pretty exciting and I'm still pretty excited about it. Um, one major, major benefit about the wing foiling in general um, for me here in Berlin Especially the last weeks, I've been pretty, pretty busy with my job and then university. And if I want to go kiting, so kite foiling most of the time because we don't get strong or consistent wind here, but kite foiling works, I have to go to a lake where it's allowed. Like on this lake here, the Berlin Bansee, I'm not allowed to go kite foiling, unfortunately, but still. Um, yeah, I just won't do it because it's too expensive. So I have to ride like, I don't know, 45 minutes in the car if the city is empty. Uh, then build up the kites and uh, all that kind of stuff so it takes i don't know if i'm honest like an hour and 20 minutes or something until i'm at the on the water so i need at least like a time slot of three four hours to to go out on the water and don't worry about uh, being too late all the time and with the ring foiling it's super chill to this spot uh, if the city is empty i have like 15 minutes by car then another maybe 15 to 20 minutes to build up, pump up the wing, the board, uh, get my neoprene on, uh, go down to the spot where I can entry the water. So it takes me approximately like 35 minutes or something and I'm on the water and that makes it uh, so much more chill because uh, when I have like a time slot between university or whatever um, of two hours, I can spend like almost an hour on the water. Um, and that makes it so much uh, yeah, more convenient for me. 
Um, yeah, what I'm pretty, pretty excited about still is like um, all the, the simplicity of it. Um, no lines attached to you and just feels a lot more free. Um, and then also one more of the big uh, fun things is uh, all the boats which are looking. Uh, because the people are so amazed if they see how you fly above the water and uh, they always shout to you and uh, just yeah happy people on boats and uh, over there you can see the ferry there are also like people taking pictures and the hype about it is quite real um, yeah i'm still pretty excited i'm really excited for my uh, gong curve pro xlt which is gonna arrive pretty soon and yeah still happy i bought my ringing equipment and Hope it uh, continues being so much fun. <laughs>